Um, in order to add a watermark to an image, it's really a rather simple process um, if you have a program like Photoshop. What you need to do is to open your image. Here I have it open in a layer of its own, and it's, it's locked. Uh, and all I need to do now is to add another layer above that. If I click here, you can see I've added another layer. And then what I can do is I can take my text tool and bring that into that layer and click on it and it'll open up a uh, line of text, dummy text. And then I can resize that dummy text to whatever size that I want to. 72 looks to be about the biggest that I can do it here, but I can type anything that I want to. I could type in 300% um, if I wanted to, or 300 point. That's going to make it much larger. And then of course um, the type uh, color is set up here. If I click on that, I can change that to red or any color that I want to, and then I could uh, simply type my name uh, across the image here. And of course, you don't want to make it too obtrusive. Uh, you still want people to be able to see the type. So what you can do here is you can do um, Edit, uh, Transform, and I'm going to rotate that whole block of copy. And then since the type itself is added as a smart object, um, it's not editable at this point. So what I can do then, I can just take and right-click onto that layer. It's taking a little bit of time here. Slow. And do rasterize the type. That then allows me to do things like reduce its opacity to the point where it's a lot less obtrusive. You can still see my name, but you see more of the image behind it. Now... You can do this. Um, there's a free program out there called GIMP that does much the same thing as Photoshop does. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, but if you're a student at MCC, you can get a discount on any of the Adobe Creative Suite stuff. And there's plenty of tutorials out there on uh, LinkedIn Learning and online that'll teach you exactly how to do this kind of stuff. But that's pretty much the way that you can then go about saving this with your own watermark on it. Uh, what you want to do now is do File and do Save As. And rather than save it as a Photoshop image, which is a PSD, uh, you want to change that to a JPEG. And that way you can share it with anybody, uh, not necessarily anybody who just has Photoshop. So I'm going to put this one in here and uh, do a dash watermark. And that way it will distinguish that image from any of the other images that I have on here. That way I can go ahead, I can share that image. It's doing it right now. I'll bring that over. Here's the file now. It's okay. It's doing stuff on my right hand or left hand screen here that you can't see. Anyway, here's the new file. And then there's the photo that I edited. And there should be another copy in here of that same image that is watermarked with my name on it. So anyway, that's a real quick lesson in how you watermark things, but you do need to have some kind of a uh, raster editing program uh, like Photoshop and or 